We're the two gay reefers, and welcome, welcome to, to Sea World. Sea World is a marine mammal park, oceanarium, and theme park located on the Gold Coast, Queensland, Australia. It promotes conservation through education and rescue and rehabilitation of sick, injured, and or orphaned wildlife. Our first stop of the day was to see the gorgeous polar bears, the only polar bear exhibit in all of Australia in 32 degree heat. It was a really hot day, and I think I would have rather been in there, in there swimming with the uh, polar bears. Uh, it was, would have been much, much nicer. But they are absolutely so gorgeous, so cute, and yeah, they're just adorable watching them swim around underneath and watching them from above playing in the water as well. So we're the, we were lucky to see three of them out that day uh, at different times, and it was just they were just they just look so graceful, um, or clumsy as well, I guess you could say. <laughs> graceful for their size, anyway. Yes. <laughs> Our next stop was the Griffith University Sea Jelly Research Lab. This is a unique collaboration between SeaWorld and the Griffith University. The state-of-the-art laboratory is specially designed for studying sea jellies and for engaging the public in scientific research. So they have a look at things like the world's population of sea jellies and whether it's declining, their role in the ecology of oceans in general. You can tell a lot by studying a single species about the ocean's health and that's probably the most important thing of what they're trying to do here. There's something really mesmerising about watching the sea jellies just float around in their in their tanks. I mean, it's almost like a drug trip just watching these little floating jellies in different coloured lights. It's really beautiful to watch yeah. and really shows off their spectacular and unique forms. For something that doesn't have, have a brain or a mouth or, or anything, it's just gorgeous. Yeah, they're just so fun to watch. Next stop was the Penguin Encounter exhibit, which is basically a slice of Antarctica indoors. It was great to see the second and third largest species of penguins in the world, both the King Penguins and the Gen 2 Penguins. It was great to see these unique birds both above ground and then swimming underwater as well. They're really charismatic swimmers. They s very graceful, very fast. And they love to do lots of zoomies as well. They do, they do, they do. <laughs> they had some of the king penguins uh, had laid some eggs, so these guys here in the separate enclosure were sitting on some eggs. Um, as you may be aware, it's the male penguins that actually sit on the eggs, not the females. Last stop of the day was Shark Bay, which is the world's largest man-made lagoon system, housing some of the biggest tropical fish, rays, and other bottom dwellers that I've seen. Also has some great big sharks in there as well. There's lots of big sharks, lots of big rays. Uh, it was really fantastic to watch. Um, as a bit of a negative, the corals obviously, as you can see here, are fake, uh, except for the couple on them. Um, and obviously being reefers, we noticed it straight away. <laughs> But there was some great fish to see, such as the Moorish idols, 
There was uh, unicorn tangs as well. A beautiful angel fish such as the emperor angel here. It was just incredible to see these guys in their natural environment. Well, as close as a man-made lagoon can be. <laughs> Okay, that's our tour of SeaWorld. What did you think, Gordon? Lots of fun. <laughs> lots and lots of fun. Surprisingly, a lot of fun. We got Help to see them. polar bears. We got to see polar and bears. Penguins. And penguins. And fish. And fish. And sharks. And sharks. <laughs> anyway, everyone, if you like today's video, like, comment, and subscribe below. Like, comment, and subscribe. Like, comment, and subscribe. Like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> But as always, be excellent to each other and keep it salty, everyone. Have a good one. Bye for now. Bye.